Good night, so this is my second video today, I'm well aware of it, and uh, I promise I want to make this channel about Judaism, although it will start being a great part of it, because it is really important to me, and it will be a great part of my life henceforth. Um, well, it was already, but now I'm more committed, and... Um, So, I wanted to be in all aspects of my daily life, um, and this includes my YouTube channel. Uh, so, <laughs> this thing that I want to talk is yet another curious thing about my Judaism. Um, yes, I'm still not even a convert, and I'm trying to negotiate with a rabbi. Uh, still doesn't trust me, uh, but, um, so yeah, um, I, I've been talking to my mother, and she is a bit anti-Semitic, but, um, it's curious that, uh, she claims, and this is a claim, I have no way to kind of verify her claims, but she claims that, the reason why I'm Jewish is, this is hilarious, because she prayed to God that, um, and that's hilarious because she doesn't understand the repercussions of her claims. So she claims that she, because uh, I've been through bad moments and uh, I've been agnostic for quite a while and um, I'd say I was an atheist, but I realized that I was truly agnostic. I said I was agnostic atheist or atheist or agnostic, but truly it was agnostic because I never blasphemed against God. I'd blaspheme against Christianity all day long, but I was really careful at the mention of God's name and stuff like that. So that's uh, another thing, but... What I want to say is an interesting thing with my mother. Uh, she she claims, and because in front of her, I would say I don't believe in anything and stuff like that, because of her heavy Catholicism. And I throw the Virgin Marys on the floor when I was angry, and the little saints, the little pagan statues that they have in Christianity. So... I was on the phone. This is not the first time we have this conversation. She she still doesn't get it. And she claims that the reason I'm converting to Judaism, well, she believes, she doesn't say that because she doesn't understand the intricacy, intricacy, intric, intricacies of the conversion. Um, for her, you believe in something, you're automatically something. So she calls me a Jew. She, she doesn't understand that it's not like that. It's not like you're a Christian, you go into the church, you take a little bit of water into in your head, and you're a Christian. It's not like that. So Jewish conversion involves a lot of work, involves a lot. It's not just belief, you need to be observant. Unless you're one of those reform thingies. So, yes, yeah, she doesn't get it. So she calls me a Jew, even though I'm not Jewish yet. So she says the reason I am Jewish is because she prayed to God that I had to have a faith, even if it was Buddhism, Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, whatever. She didn't care about the faith. And then... Um, she uses it to prove that Catholicism is the real religion and says that I should be Catholic and stuff like that. And uh, this is where we kind of have a little quarrel. Um, but it's humorous because... No, not humorous. That's a, that's a bone. Humorous. That's humorous because she claims that uh, Catholicism is a real religion because she got me to believe in Judaism. To which I reply, you know, you pray to God and he made your daughter a Jew. This should, should tell you something. She says, nah, whatever. 
um, Catholicism, because if, if it wasn't for Catholicism, it wouldn't be Jew. And I said, look, you may be praying to the right God, but you're not doing the right kind of worship. That was God's way of telling you what the true religion is. And she said, what is the true religion? I said, Orthodox Judaism. And uh, she said, no, it's, it's Catholicism, it's the best religion. She, she, she has a, a severe case of cognitive dissonance that is quite cute and amusing. Um, because, of course, uh, Christians have, well, it's not exactly the same God because they have that Trinity nonsense and uh, that uh, they, they make Jesus... God and whatever, so they, they don't worship the God, the, um, God, well, they believe in the same God, but they give them pagan attributes and do that worshiping and stuff like that, so it's not the, the right religion, it's, it's a corruption, and um, they don't get it, and she doesn't get it, I... Um, but still, she when she addresses God, Hashem, directly, instead of uh, her little prayers and Jesus and whatever, of course, uh, in certain aspects, God will listen to her. And he, if it is indeed true that she prayed for me to gain my faith back, I think God was giving her a sign that maybe she should become Jewish herself. I don't know, it's kind of, <clears throat> I know how I was chosen, I know I was already inclined to convert, and I know the moment that I knew that my intentions were honest, it was special, really special, and I know that God chose me, um, it was, I know that there was no way, it was a coincidence, uh, it involved another person, um, and uh, I got the exact answer to my prayers through that other person. Um, so I'm pretty sure, because my question revolved uh, um, in relation to my intentions, in relation to my honesty, and whether I truly believe of God or I was just wanted to believe, because I've been wanting to believe for years. So... In a sense, it was, in my case, a response to my prayer, but I don't know if my mother did indeed pray. But if she did indeed pray to God, and God made me <laughs> pursuing Orthodox Judaism, if I had a daughter, and I prayed for her to gain her faith, and she chose Orthodox Judaism of all religions, I take it as a sign that Hashem wants me to convert to Judaism and that the true path is Judaism. I mean, when you believe, and that if she indeed believes that it was God and that she, it was her prayers that made me interested in Judaism, then she should also believe that God is sending her a message that the true path is Orthodox Judaism. But that's my logic. I have to understand her Christian logic. Because God answered her to her. It means that Catholicism is the best religion. And she doesn't understand observancy. She thinks it's, it's stupid. She thinks Catholicism is better because it allows you to be... <sighs> to basically choose and pick and cherry pick what you follow from God's law. And um, so I think she, she's not learning, but it's interesting. I may, and I'm not proselytizing her, but I will try to get her to understand God's message to her. Because if it is indeed true that she prayed and God made me um, in 
interested in become Jewish, then that um, that call from God was not only to me, but it was to her too. So I think it is interesting that she starts understanding the true scope of her affirmation of her claim and uh, what it means to her. Um, still, I think it was more an answer to my prayers for years than her prayers, but... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, and also, I've studied the Torah before. Um, because of Alchemy, I... I... I studied Kabbalah, not not, not uh, in the, the scope of the Torah and uh, Talmud, but I did study some Kabbalah that is present in alchemy, so I also studied other Jewish writings that many alchemists use, because um, a lot of alchemists were Jewish, and there is a lot of Judaism transferring into alchemy. And I was always fascinated with alchemy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. As a child and uh, also alchemy is the reason why I started reading Harry Potter. So that's how my obsession started. And I think that alchemical studies led me to Judaism. It was the natural path. And um, of course, having studied Kabbalah, um, it was an interesting development, and there is another thing that is rather curious. Um, ten years ago, and I wasn't aware of it, I was living right above a Jewish, uh, the ruins of an old Jewish neighborhood, right in front of a synagogue that was converted to a church and later to a um, music house, uh, you know, concert house, so stuff like that. So it's really sad. It's still called by the name of church. And a few days ago, and if I had known that information, I could have thought a little more about this. That, you know, I I dream about children, and children give me messages. Uh, and they said that I have something to do that I needed to do. Uh, for them to exist, and uh, that I was late, that I should have done something already. They didn't specify it's the thing. They they gave me broken messages, and I didn't get the message. Uh, for years and years, I dreamt about them. <laughs> and uh, now I think it may have to do with uh, my religious path, because, um, you know, the dream started while I was literally sleeping and prop, 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 possibly very close to mikveh. And um, because the mikveh, I think it was still not, they still haven't found the mikveh. And I lived right across the, the synagogue, very, very close. It's like I stepped out of the house. And I was in the synagogue, literally. <sighs> That's one of my plans, you know, recover that synagogue and give it back to Jews. I think it's only fair. And I think that synagogue has a lot of significance in my life because uh, I lived there for a year and I, I had many premonitory dreams in that house. I had a very, and it was also at the time that I started studying Kabbalah and the Torah. And it's really curious because it was around that time that I was living in that house. And we know to me, I wasn't aware that I was living right above the ruins of a, an old Jewish neighborhood. So this is, there's a lot of coincidences in my life that I don't understand. It's like Hashem is calling to me and uh, I wanted to stay in that house. I felt so well in that house, but I couldn't. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, just a curiosity. <laughs> I didn't even know why I talked about that house. Uh, 
if you most know that uh, synagogue is in Coimbra and uh, I've lived right in front of it for, for months. I was just the only, and I, and I felt so offended that they make a national monument into a private business. Uh, they they sing fathers there. I was so offended, and I wanted to go in there, but because it's close to the public, they only open when they have concerts, and you must pay to go to the concerts. But to me, it always felt like an insult that that um, that building was defiled because it was very beautiful, it appealed to me, and now I know for sure that um, it is a synagogue, it was a synagogue, and it was defiled twice by Christians and by seculars, and uh, so yeah, it's a little sad, but yeah, so this is, and I know I keep on telling bits and pieces, there is a lot of stuff that is coming up now and it's rather curious how much connection I had to Judaism before I was aware of it. Because um, I knew, for instance, that the Kabbalah had Jewish origins, but I didn't know how much it meant. I knew the Torah and I read the Torah because I was in a pace. I read the Quran. The Quran. I read the Bible, I read a lot of stuff. I, I tried to read the Talmud, but not available in my country. Um, so it is that time, I think, was crucial. That was the baby steps. And uh, it's curious to see how it didn't start this year. This is the year of the 2017 was the year of the awakening but it has been building up throughout the years unbeknownst to me and it's so curious uh so yeah that's it for today goodbye please subscribe if you have any experiences similar or somehow connected please do share with them with me if you know anyone you know that's it goodbye